five medications that help acclimatization and combat altitude sickness. Hi, I'm Kevin with Ultimate Kilimanjaro. If you're planning to climb Kilimanjaro, then you're probably aware of the effects of altitude. Although it affects every person differently, chances are you will experience some symptoms of altitude sickness. Altitude sickness, also known as acute mountain sickness or AMS, is caused by going too high too quickly. It's said that 75% of people will have some form of mild AMS above 10,000 feet. It's hard, if not impossible, to predict who will get sick. Some people are just more susceptible than others due to their genetic makeup. But there are OTC and prescription medications that are known to help acclimatization and treat AMS. Let's take a look. Number one, ibuprofen. You know ibuprofen as the medication often used as a painkiller. Some brand names of ibuprofen include Advil, Motrin, and Aleve. This drug can also reduce the symptoms of altitude sickness. At high altitude, it's common for climbers to experience different magnitudes of headache. This is caused by inflammatory factors that lead to leaky blood vessels and fluid buildup in the brain, causing pressure in the skull. Ibuprofen, an anti-inflammatory drug, works by decreasing the swelling and inflammation. Ibuprofen is rapidly absorbed and generally well tolerated. Researchers found that those who took ibuprofen were less likely to develop acute mountain sickness than those who took a placebo. The recommended dose is 600 mg every 8 hours. Number 2. Acetazolamide The most popular and effective medication for altitude sickness is acetazolamide, known by the brand name Diamox. It works by acidifying the blood. The resulting metabolic acidosis acts as a respiratory stimulant, increasing ventilation and improving arterial oxygenation. In simple terms, it makes you breathe faster, which increases the oxygen levels in your body. The standard dosage is 125 to 250 mg every 12 hours, or 500 mg daily. For best results, it should be started 24 hours before your climb and continued throughout the expedition. Dimox is known to be 75% effective in preventing AMS. If you plan on using Dimox, it's good to take a pill at home to test its side effects, so you'll have an idea how your body responds to it at sea level. Number 3. Dexamethasone High altitude cerebral edema is a serious form of altitude sickness where the brain swells and ceases to function properly. Dexamethasone is a potent steroid hormone that acts as an anti-inflammatory agent to treat brain edema. Whereas acetazolamide treats altitude sickness by aiding acclimatization, dexamethasone treats the symptoms only. Again, dexamethasone has no effect on acclimatization itself, just the symptoms. Therefore, someone who uses dexamethasone as a treatment shouldn't continue to ascend it should be used to relieve the symptoms while either maintaining altitude or better yet, while descending. Dexamethasone isn't routinely recommended as a prophylactic agent for AMS, but it may reduce the risk of AMS in susceptible persons. Dexamethasone is distributed under the name Decadron. The recommended dosage is four milligrams, six hours apart. People usually experience an improvement in symptoms within six hours. Number four, sildenafil. Being at high altitude causes blood vessels to constrict, known as pulmonary vasoconstriction. This increases the demand on the heart, which can lead to heart failure. It also increases pulmonary artery pressures, which can cause blood vessels in the lungs to leak fluid, a potentially dangerous condition known as high altitude pulmonary edema. Sildenafil, sold under the brand name Viagra, acts as a vasodilator. It relaxes blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow freely through the vessels. This counteracts the constriction caused by high altitude and thus reduces the pressure on the heart and lungs. In medical terms, it reduces pulmonary artery pressure and the formation of pulmonary edema fluid, thus reducing the risk of heart failure and hate. Viagra can improve oxygen delivery to muscles, improving physical endurance. 
Researchers found that Viagra significantly improved the cardiovascular and exercise performance measures of participants, improving their output up to 45%. The recommended dose of sildenafil is 50 mg every 8 hours. Number 5. Nifedipine Nifedipine is similar to Viagra, but it is a less potent drug that also lowers pulmonary artery pressure. It's most commonly used for the treatment of high blood pressure. Nifedipine opens the pulmonary artery, which reduces chest tightness and makes breathing easier. The recommended dose is 20 mg every 8 hours or 30 mg every 12 hours. That concludes our list for 5 medications that combat altitude sickness. If you visit your travel clinic or doctor prior to climbing Kilimanjaro, they will likely prescribe Diamox for your high altitude trekking trip and nothing else. So, if you're interested in using a different medication while on your climb, be sure to let your doctor know. At Ultimate Kilimanjaro, we neither encourage or discourage the use of Diamox or any other medications that help with acclimatization or altitude sickness. It's a personal choice and a decision you should make with your doctor's advice. If you're looking for natural remedies, then be sure to watch our video, 7 Natural Foods and Supplements for Altitude Acclimatization. For everything you need to know about climbing Kilimanjaro, visit ultimatekilimanjaro.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the summit.